Yo, what is up guys? Willis back here again with a brand new series on the channel. We are jumping into Bike Unchained 2. I'll be sharing some thoughts about it along the way, but we're just going to kind of do a complete walkthrough. I don't really know exactly any other ways to do certain videos about this uh, for the time being. I did post Bike Unchained 1 back in the day for a little bit, uh, but let's just jump into it here. Um, there is kind of a, a basic tutorial to go through. I'm going to take you guys through the whole thing. So if you want to jump ahead, I totally get it. If you want to get to some more action, maybe stay tuned for future episodes, things like that. But without further ado, I'll try to uh, add my thoughts here and there. But I'll we'll try to progress through this and read uh, through what they got to tell us. So uh, we got Tani Seagrave. Hi there. Welcome to Bike Unchained 2. I'm Tani Seagrave, and I'm here to help you through the basics. So lesson one, basic downhill. Tap and hold on downhill sections to pump more speed. Tap screen to start. So, tap and hold on any downhill section. You see the uh, track highlight blue. That means we are gaining a speed boost. If you hold it too long, if you hold it like on an uphill, the uh, blue will turn to red, and that's that slows you down. Not really uh, the best thing to be doing. Uh, but you kind of get a feel for it. And uh, let's see, lesson one completed. And so I did play this game a decent amount. I probably. Honestly, I might even have like 10 hours put into this game, uh, but I just deleted the whole thing and started from scratch to uh, make some videos on it. So, uh, lesson two, Scaling Hills, release the pump before uphill to avoid speed loss. So that's what I was just talking about there. Just release it there. It says we uh, did all right there. Uh, but yeah, I did kind of already record this, which is why I have a little bit of experience already. And uh, they play some really loud music in the background, so just... Uh, Note to any YouTubers out there, if you uh, <laughs> if you do record this, that uh, maybe you want to turn down the background noise, and uh, hopefully you don't get copyrighted. I don't know what the deals with this music, but we'll find out when we upload it. Lesson two completed. You scaled all three uphill sections perfectly. Uh, but yeah, I've been a mountain biker myself since about 2013, and so I can't say this will be my favorite game on earth. You know, I just gotta be honest, but. You know, I'll, I'll give my all to any mountain biking game out there. I really think that uh, maybe it's not the biggest market, but it could be a bigger market, and I'm willing to, you know, throw whatever support I can towards any sort of mountain biking game. So uh, we're going to check it out for a little bit, so let me know what you guys think. But let's jump into Lesson 3, Pedaling. Tap the screen rapidly to pedal. It's useful only on long uphill sections and after losing speed. So... Tap the screen rapidly to pedal, so this is an uphill section, I'm tapping, I'm tapping. And so obviously you guys have noticed by now that this game is played vertically, which is kind of different for uh, today's standards. And also, you'll probably notice off the bat, if you did ever play Bike Unchained 1, the first edition, or uh, if you saw my past videos on that, if you've been... If you saw my past Bike Unchained videos, that means you've been subbed since like, before we hit 100 subscribers, so... I owe you guys a lot for sure, for sure, but let me know in the comments below if you guys did see those videos because that's pretty crazy. Um, let's jump into the next episode, keep this going, or next lesson, not episode, lesson four, air control. Tap and hold to land your jumps. So once you're airborne, you just tap and hold and that kind of kind of forces you down in a weird way. It's like an increase in gravity, if you will. <laughs> I don't know, kind of weird. We got our little reminder for uh, a different game, which I've been posting videos on, Last Day on Earth. That's just a reminder to open the hourly box. You can watch a 30 second ad to get a little free gift. But you can do in this game as well. They, they got like a, a uh, box reward system type of thing going on. And occasionally you can watch some ads to get a couple free boxes. So you'll see that as we progress. We'll just finish up with the intro here so you guys understand what's going on in the game. Lesson 5 is Free Ride. Now try your skills on this Free Ride Trail. So this is kind of just putting everything together. Not sure if I should pedal there. Kind of get a feel for this game as it goes along. I think we held a little too long there. Uh, but definitely if you saw my last... My, uh, my videos like, I don't know, probably two or three years ago by now on Bug Unchained 1. Initially I did struggle a bit trying to get a feel for it. And I did honestly struggle a good amount with this game trying to get a feel for it. But like I said, I probably have maybe 10 hours or so. Um, so I can at least do the basics as I mess up terribly there, but you get the point. Your time was 33 seconds, almost 34 seconds. Well done. 
And let's see. Log in with Facebook or Red Bull account to sync your progress. I'm actually going to do that if it lets me. I'm not sure if I still have to enter my name here. I'll just be Gaming Willis. Um, let's see what happens. Log in with Facebook. I'll probably cut this out of the video, so I'll be right back. All right, so we logged in with uh, Facebook. Hopefully it doesn't give away too much of my personal information, you know, on the video itself, because uh, I'd rather not have you guys stalking me. But <laughs> uh, let's see, finalize your account. I guess I agree, man. I'll sign my life away. Why are there two checkboxes? This is weird. I probably just agreed to like some crazy stuff. Whatever, man. But let's see, we got a commensal bike here on the loading screen. That's how you say it. I think that's how you say it. Something like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm a mountain biker myself, so I, you know I like seeing all the in-game stuff. They do use you know real-world bike brands and, and stuff, so uh, you know it's cool from that perspective. So let's keep going here. Great riding on that trail. You are showing some promise. It's time to show your skills to other riders. To get things started, I can lend you some of my spare parts. Have fun. Tap the box to open it. So this is what I was talking about. They got these uh, little packs in the game. This one takes three seconds to unlock. Wait for the timer, tap it again. Tap to open, and they got like this kind of like card system. Shows you some different items. We got gold. We got obtainium, which is like their premium currency in the game. Uh, gold is used to like level up components and stuff. We got a Rocky Mountain Thunderbolt frame there. Full suspension frame. Looks like it's ready to be leveled up. And we got a transition uh, TR-11. Not ready to level up yet. Those parts look amazing. Let's build up your new bike. And so I'm pretty sure when you start, like, everybody gets the same components. But I'm assuming as you progress, like, eventually those boxes will just start containing, like, kind of random parts. Um, that's what I would assume, but these are the same exact parts I had when I started the game the other time. And then deleted my progress, so, uh, everybody gets the same things to start, at least. Different bike setups are, can be outfitted for various races you will be attending. That's the other thing, this game does have, you know, a few, like, grammar mistakes here and there, like, this R can be, you know, just little weird stuff kind of gives me a bad vibe, if I'm being honest. You know, it's, it's just those little details that, that are a, a big make or break in games, in my opinion. Um, but my reason for playing this is just, I love mountain biking, I, you know, I like games a decent amount, obviously. And so uh, meshing the two together, it's it's just something that I'm glad to be a part of. So I definitely want to keep playing this game. Just kind of do some walkthrough videos on my channel. So let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know what you think. And so this is kind of our, our bike garage, if you will. And you can basically build a downhill bike and a slope style bike. And so you can see your rating, the thumbs up is kind of the overall rating. Then you have different skills. Top speed affects your overall maximum speed. Rolling resistance performance affects your coasting effectiveness. Ground control affects how much pumping increases your downhill speed. Then we got stamina affects your pedaling speed and how fast you start the race. And we got tricks, which affect how easily your flow gauge fills up and how difficult tricks you can do. So, tricks is obviously more important for uh, slope style. And uh, I mean, they're all kind of important for slope style, but tricks is probably the least important for downhill. Uh, but probably most important for slope style, so uh, let's see. You can kind of preview what each component does. This just goes red in every direction. That goes red in every direction. So I should use this Rocky Mountain frame for now. We got this equipped. I'll just get rid of these little uh, notification things. We only got one component in each of uh, these sections for the time being. And I think the Rocky Mountain frame is going to be our, our best bet. Yeah, it's, it's just all around better, at least at level 2, compared to this transition frame at the moment for both downhill and slope style, and so we'll just rock with that. Then they got the shop over here on the bottom left. I'm pretty sure the tutorial will keep going and, and take us through here in a little bit. Uh, but you can basically buy cards to level up components. That's basically it. Then we got uh, character customization. You can be male or female, looks like. I am currently a female. I'm going to go to male, and... Uh, they have super wide shoulders in this game, if you didn't notice already. You can go no goggles or goggles. I'll go goggles. A little purple shirt. I'll go with the t-shirt. Got purple pants. I'll go with the uh, somewhat more masculine setup here. 
and then I think it saves outfit configurations between genders so like you can yeah like when you switch back and forth it'll save your your setup between male and female so I'll go with the male rider for now and I think it wants us to jump into play so ranked race is a competition against other riders your results in ranked race affect your standings the league there's another weird grammar mistake but whatever the fastest riders will be promoted to the next league good luck and see you in the silver league Remember that each promotion gives you a new challenge, or new challenges, and a chance to get amazing rewards. So we can currently do these races on the bottom, then we'll unlock Soap Style, then we'll unlock Championship and Time Trial. And apparently you can win like real world uh, prizes in this game as well, in certain competitions. Like, I don't know, like Red Bull t-shirts or something like that. I don't know exactly what it is. Um, there are some like blog posts online about it and whatever. Uh, so that could be interesting, it'll probably take a lot of dedication and some stiff competition, but there's a course preview at the top and it should be pretty easy to start out, so you just tap to start. And apparently from what I understand all the races are against real world people. I'm not totally sure what the deal is with that. Like, I don't know if this race right here is against real world people. I also don't really know if I should be pedaling here. like. It's the thing about this game, I don't, I wouldn't call it the most like skill oriented, it's just like, it's weird, you kind of just got to get a feel for it and get into the flow. It's kind of awkward to like decide when to pedal and, and when to, you know, pump on the downhill, when to release, things like that. It's really not like a clear indication, I'm assuming you kind of get a feel for it the more you play, but should be pretty easy in the first couple races and then it'll get harder, I'm sure. And if I'm being honest, they'll probably push you if you want to progress in the game and you know keep winning races. You'll probably have to probably won't have to, but you'll probably be kind of pressured to to buy some upgrades and stuff and get the better components and level up those components and everything like that. So just something to be aware of. But uh, regardless of the monetization model, you know, like I said, I think this is my third time now. Just got to support a mountain biking game here. Especially on mobile, since i uh, mostly done mobile games over the last two, three years, whatever it's been. I should definitely pedal there. That was a little rough. Guess I'll pedal there. But yeah, not you know, not totally clear when you should pedal, when when you should just ride it out, figure it out eventually, I guess. There we go, another victory, no problem at all. Sure, I enjoyed the track. And yeah, I mean, I think I think my favorite part about this game will be just unlocking more components, you know, frames, wheels, forks, and uh, drivetrains, I guess, are the four basic components they have in this game. Obviously, there's incredibly more components on an actual bike, but uh, they simplified it to those four kind of sections, if you will. Let's see if we can get a dub here on this race as well. But yeah, graphics are just insanely better compared to the original Bike Unchained if you, you know, just want to go back and, if anything, just watch my past videos just to see the change in graphics. And the past game was played horizontally, so it was a little bit different. Different camera angle on your, on your player. It was still third person, so pretty similar, but This edition of Bike Unchained is, is just all around better, there's no doubt about that. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, playing through some more of it here with you guys. Make sure to uh, smash like if you enjoy this series. <laughs> sure, I enjoyed the level, stop asking me. Yeah, I think we got it, man. 1,020 trophies, I'm assuming that's like your ranking. Just completed your first ranked event. By completing ranked events, you can earn sponsor packs. I think you can unlock like riders and stuff as well. We'll see if we get to that in this episode. We're at like 15 minutes now. Maybe I'll make like 30 minute episodes or something like that. Let's see. Here's one from the last event. Sponsor pack. Tap the box to open it. it takes three seconds. Start unlock. Three, two, one. You see in the top right now. We can watch ads to unlock boxes and things like that. That's something I'll just kind of do in my spare time. I won't 
I won't waste video time doing that. Especially because I'll just end up cutting the ads out of the video and everything like that. Just make more editing work for myself. Let's see, Paw Bikes. I don't actually know if that's a real brand in real life or if that's just like an in-game thing. If anybody knows, let me know. Uh, but we unlock Carson Storage. They got a bunch of Red Bull Riders in this game, so uh, definitely, definitely some legends in here. You unlock your first mentor. Mentors will teach you new abilities and tricks. They can also unlock some very special items like outfits, helmets, and bike parts for you. You're going to meet many famous riders on your way and get a chance to challenge them. So let's go ahead and collect that. And so I guess you can kind of level up the riders. This is a pretty sweet frame over here. Four star Rocky Mountain Slayer. The sick paint job. I have no idea what I just tapped. I hit something. You can find the mentors you've unlocked by tapping the rider book button from the bottom right corner. One day you can also get your own Red Bull helmet. That's going to be pretty sweet. Ride against others around the world and show us you are worth of it. Another weird grammar situation there. Show us you are worth of it. Maybe worthy of it. Maybe that's what they were going for. Uh, so that's all for now. Just remember these three things. Keep on racing, upgrade your bike, race in special events for the best prizes. So, you know, it's just another game where you gotta upgrade, 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 and, and things like that, but I think it should be a good amount of fun. So we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. Let's check out this, let's upgrade it to level two. And I don't I don't know like what's the best, most efficient way to, to spend your gold and things like that. I'm assuming you only really wanna upgrade some of the better components or only upgrade when you really need to. Um, it looks like that fork is better. That fork is better. We got that equipped already. Let's go to the rider book. We got man, tons, tons of riders, man. Darren Bearclaw, Thomas Scannon. I don't know how to say all these guys' names, I'll be honest. Aaron Gwynn, Fabio Widmer, Martin Sorgstrom. They got some female riders, always nice to see. Kate Courtney, Miriam Nicole. Some uh, crazy people, man. Of course, Brandon Semenuk. Can't have a mountain biking game, especially a Red Bull mountain biking game without him. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how you level them up. Maybe you got to get like more cards or something to level them up, and then you get these other rewards and stuff. So let's jump back into another race, I guess. I guess that's the move. I'm not sure how many trophies it requires to get to Silver League, but. We should unlock that relatively soon. Nice overview of the course here. We'll let it pan out for a second. Definitely some great graphics. Looks like a pretty solid game, man. You've unlocked your first ability, Activate. Activate. My, uh, I'm uh, losing my voice here, recording so many videos in one day. Activate the ability before the race to boost your performance. Mentors will teach you new abilities and make you a better rider. By the way, grab a Red Bull before you go. I like this. One of your abilities can be a Red Bull. <laughs> That's so awesome, man. That's so awesome. Hashtag Red Bull sponsor me. Someday. Someday I'll be like Ninja or something. I don't know. <laughs> let's jump into this race, man. Let's, uh, let's uh, stop the cringe. Hashtag no cringe. Maybe by 2019 I won't be cringy anymore. I don't know. Let's keep going. We're in first. We're gliding. I thought we were about to gap that bridge. I was like, uh... Are you sure about that? Right, we got some flow going. Oh, might have fell a little too early there. I think that's the finish. Not bad at all. Sure, I enjoyed the level. Continue on. It looks like we get crates at the bottom or something. Not sure exactly what's going on there. Let's continue on to heat number two out of three. Yeah, let me know what you think about the uh, video style since it is a vertical game. At least I'm playing on the iPad. I think that makes it a little wider, you know, aspect ratio wise compared to like an iPhone. If you guys want me to like try to stretch it out or, or something, fill more of the screen, I don't know exactly what I could do. Especially because I just edit in iMovie. So I'm too cheap to pay for real software, but <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you think of the style. If it's, uh, if it's fun to watch the vertical videos I think if you leave the sides just black bars I think at least depending on where you watch it I think YouTube will actually automatically cut those out and kinda like scale the video up to to make it more viewable at least if you watch in Chrome on a laptop or a PC or whatever 
I think I think YouTube does that nowadays, which is pretty cool. Just something to keep in mind, depending on what device you're watching on. If you're watching on mobile, I don't I don't think there's any options like that at the moment, but uh, hopefully it's all right for you guys. Continue on to heat three out of three. Should get the dub here, no problem. Let's take a look at this course. It's a beautiful day here on the Red Bull Racing Course thing, Mabob. I'm a really good announcer, and let's jump right into it. All right, we got a Red Bull man. We are good to go. We're all hyped up. Let's go. That guy's picture is literally an avocado. What is life? Clearly, I'm, a, I'm racing a millennial. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll pedal up here. I don't know. It's so hard to tell sometimes. I feel like it's just slower than gliding sometimes. Let's keep going. We're barely ahead. Less than half a second. Getting some flow going now. A little bit of air time there. Getting some speed. And we got first place. Let's go. Sure, I enjoyed that. And another dub, man. We are untouched so far. We're up to uh, 1040 there on the trophies. I guess you get 20 for each event, at least at uh, the pace we're going. We got another box this time. It takes three hours to unlock. You can start unlocking it. Um, I don't like notifications in general, and so I think you can skip them with the Obtainium currency, whatever that's called. It always reminds me of Oakley. I know I'm pretty sure I said this years ago in my original Bike Unchained videos, but I think Oakley has, uh, they call like some of their material unobtainium. So I always want to call this unobtainium because you just don't see like obtainium anywhere really. So that's all I generally think about. And uh, I'll probably mix it up in future videos, but I always just think of Oakley anytime I see that. But let's keep the action going, man. Jump into another race. Redoing all my progress since, uh, you know, I had about 10 hours in and uh, we're just resetting things here. Starting over from scratch, starting the video series from scratch. I'm not really sure what to do here. I feel like I'm going really slow. Somehow we're still in the first. I don't know. It's a solid case. Brutal. Brutal out here. They're definitely letting me win or something. Sure, I enjoyed that one. Let's continue on here. All right, let's jump into the uh, next race here. Just had to pause, but we are back. Should be seamless in the video. That's the magic of video editing. All right, three stars. Three stars. Three stars. Three stars. All I get are three stars. Three stars. This is the most perfect race. Oh, two stars. I was gonna say this is the most perfect race possible. Now I feel like I'm just going super slow. It'll be interesting to see how much faster you get with the uh, better components and upgraded components and stuff. Slope style will also be pretty interesting with the tricks and stuff. I wonder. Actually, I, I do know how they do that since I did play this game already, but. Uh, for the sake of redoing the video, you know, I, I totally wonder how they do how they do that. I have no idea. I have no idea how it's gonna go. <laughs> we'll find out together. Totally, and I totally do not know. Yeah, let's jump into another race here. Look at those rocks, man. I'm pretty sure I hit my microphone like two times there, so uh, just bear with me. Let's get it. Can you imagine like washing out into those rocks? washing out off the side of these cliffs <laughs> you're gonna have a bad day I probably should have pedaled there I don't know we've been overtaken this is no bueno I'm not about to lose my first race my dude shoot I held it a little too long there we turned red it's race to the finish it's usually what you do in races you you go to the finish am I right Oh, I think we're Gucci. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. If it was the original bike on chain, you used to be able to do like tricks off any jump, even if you were just racing downhill. 
but it's different now. Hashtag foreshadowing or something like that, I don't know. There we go up to 1060, another 20 trophies, couple uh, packs, whatever they're called, sponsor packs. And so, I think we'll just jump into another race. As long as we keep on winning, we should keep on racing. I think this will be our last race for this video. Approaching about 30 minutes here. Let's try to make our videos in this series, our episodes, about 30 minutes. I think that'll be decent. So hopefully you guys enjoy the action and you know I'm glad I restarted. I think my original recordings would have been a lot a lot worse. <laughs> Dropping off to the right here. Cause I didn't I didn't really know what I was doing to start things off. So it's good to get a little head start, you know, we got through the tutorial pretty quick and things like that. Jumped right into the racing action, didn't really have to waste too much time checking out the app because I already know how most of this works, so uh, maybe that's the strategy for the future. When we do new game series, maybe uh, maybe I gotta play a couple hours before I actually start recording and then start from the beginning so I at least got my feet under me, know the direction I'm going, the things I gotta do in the game. I feel like I should be pedaling here, I don't know. I just got passed, so probably not the move. Eh, we took first. Maybe it is the move. But yeah, like sections like this, like, do I just keep holding down? Like, I don't... It's not always the most clear. But this game is cool because you can totally just play with one hand. I'm literally just holding my iPad with one hand. I'm just using my thumb. That's literally all you need to play, so... Alright, so OBS crashed, if you guys watched my last day on Earth series, you might have heard me talk about that a little bit, I've been having some issues with OBS on OS X, um, that's a lot of O's and S's, but hopefully we didn't miss too much, I didn't quite catch exactly when it crashed, but I think maybe we just missed part of the last race, so hopefully we're good, this will be our last race in this episode anyways, so not the end of the world, hopefully it's uh working okay now and hopefully we win this race. Fabio is doing some work. Took the lead, took the lead, let's go. Not sure when to pedal, when to coast, but we got it. Three stars at the end, downhill boost. One by about one and a half seconds. Thumbs up, most dope. R.I.P. Mac Miller, I think that's what I was saying when the recording crashed. Uh, but yeah, we're up to 1078, that's weird. Why did we just randomly get 18 trophies? Alright, alright. We got this crate in the top, uh, top thing. I guess those stars you get for doing sections well, like that three stars we got at the end. You know, you get them along the way and they add up. And once you get 300, you get a box to unlock, so let's go ahead and do that. And we got some gold, always good to upgrade components, obtainium, always good to stock up on that. We got some wheels, looks like we can level those up, we'll check those out. And we got box 111 speed drivetrain, so that's pretty cool. It is cool they got box components here. Box is definitely uh, stepping up in the world, I'd say. So that is a tough one, we go down on rolling resistance. But up on the other things. I'll go with it. Let's level up these guys. Still our only wheel set, so might as well. And it's just gonna be better overall, no question about that. Let's see, shram or box. I think it makes sense to use these on both bikes. So uh, yeah, still the same setup between downhill and slope style, but that'll be changing relatively soon as we start getting more specialized components no pun intended i don't think specialized is in this game but uh i think that's gonna do it man for episode one hopefully uh the background noise isn't too loud hopefully you don't get copyrighted for the background music anyway uh, we will find out when we upload uh our first episode here but stay tuned man be sure to subscribe for more red bull bike unchained 2 i'll try to link i guess my past bike unchained videos in the description or, or the suggested videos in youtube all that Know, however that stuff works so check it out if you want to see them you know they're they're not really exciting gameplay but if you just want to see the difference between what this game was originally and, and how it's changed in the new version i think it's definitely a welcome change graphics are amazing 
you know, I'm, I'm glad to support a mountain biking game here on uh, iOS. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for more, and I'll catch you on the next one.